it's me! Welcome to the stream! I'm in some really inclement weather right about now, but we're, we're gonna get started. This is Sunday stream. See, now it's ASMR. Now you can go to bed to it. A minute ago it was uncomfortable, now it's, now it's nice. Uh, hi everybody, welcome to the stream tonight. I have a number of things for you, some variety. I have um, weather games that, I mean, why? Jedi Knight mods, the original Jedi Knight, Dark Forces 2. Trio of treasures, which could be anything. And Ludum Dare 45 games. The mods for Jedi Knight, by the way, are old, crusty, and some of them are really amazing, from what I can tell. So, I think it'll be a fun night. This is Fungi, by the way, speaking of fun night. This is a real character from a real video game called Chrono Cross. But many of you know that. What's wrong with his veins? There's nothing wrong with his veins. The weather games. Why would I play games about the weather? Because games about the weather were made. The most boring topic of conversation that you could default to at any deli, any diner, any barber shop, etc., etc. How's the weather? Who cares? <laughs> it's weather. And then someone decided to make a channel about the weather, and it's fucking huge. I mean, back in, you know, when I was growing up, back in the day, the Weather Channel was, like, always on. People loved that fucking channel. So, there's a fascination with the weather, and therefore there are games about the weather. And, um, well, this first one's called Operation Weather Disaster, which is a game by Human Code and Discovery Channel Multimedia. Oh, it just stopped raining. That's fortunate. This is from 1995. The Discovery Channel, where you can discover. Oh shit, more rain. Well, that's a coincidence. What is going on, Chad? Stratus. Scan traces are showing three tornadoes. Two of them have just been upgraded to F5 status. Current speed and heading indicate that they will intersect Chinook, Oklahoma in 20 seconds. Thanks, Millibar. We'll take care of it. I'm not gonna let him get away with this. Who the fuck just is this Donny Osmond? Looking motherfucker. <laughs> you guys copy on that? We're tracking you, Stratus. And please try not to show off this time. Cortana, After please. All, F5s are nothing to sneeze at. You worry too much, Josie. This is a walk in the park compared to Catman That is so very 90s. Sure, mate, it'll be fine. He's done this like a million times before. <laughs> What's this? Not like this, he has. We'll monitor your progress from here. They never let me play with the cool toy. People are saying that's Vinny hair. That, a little bit, but that's even more 90s than my hair. Arm a cyclonic missile, Millibar. Full payload. Armed and ready. Okay, let's do it. Fire. <laughs> Take that! Wow. Stratus. Graphics. Scan traces show a life form in the wreckage. A human life form. I see him. We gotta get him out of there pronto. How the fuck did he survive a tornado down, and a missile? From within your mind, no one else can find the light. It just felt like the right time for that. Everything's gone flat. Charge is low position located is reading. I'm not getting anything from Millibar. The dude on the left gets gives me some running. serious Denny vibes Lovely from the room. we're having, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's time for a weather report from your friendly neighborhood weatherman. Who's this Duffy Cut? The report calls for uh, hurricanes, tornadoes, and uh, hmm, let's see a moment, something's missing. Uh, Missiles? Ah, Stratos. <laughs> your so-called leader. Well, let's just say he's uh, retired permanently. And your silly little infobot was of no use to me either. 
Matter of fact, I don't think she's of use to anyone. Millibar! <laughs> what have you done with Stratus? <laughs> I'm uh, acting! I could send a brigade of F5 tornadoes marching down on your headquarters. <laughs> but if you leave right now, I can oh be persuaded to spare your lives. I'll leave. He's bluffing! We can't take that chance. Not after what happened to Stratus. Sound the evacuation. <laughs> Who is this? Who is he hangar, doing? Go to your secondary weather sites. We'll coordinate remotely and see what we can do. Well, I'd wish you all good luck, but uh, he's still doing it. Would I? <laughs> That's right. Maybe that person in Oklahoma is Bill He's a funnier character than we've ever had. <laughs> oh, I get it. He's like stupid, <laughs> so he, he's not going to run and he's going to die. I think I'm going to die. Now no one can stop me and the weather. My weather. Uh, <laughs> my weather will triumph. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna keep laughing, huh? We are at it weather super villain. It's already amazing. I haven't even fucking touched the game yet, and it's already amazing. Imagine getting this for your child in the 90s. Oh, here's a weather game, honey. Then again, I'm wondering if it's educational. Could be. Um. Let me let me check and see if there was a read me. <laughs> no. Um well, that's a good start. How is it not getting this stuff but yet it was able to play the cutscene? Um is this Windows 1? It's like kind of where's scene 0? Discover extreme startup dot, dot dir I just went back to the menu. Discovery demo. Operation Weather Extreme. I guess we'll try again. Okay, I'm gonna skip the cutscene. Hell yeah. Did it. Okay, good. On the fly problem solving, everybody. You place a paper cup in your inventory. I thought that was a sock. Oh, that is a sock. Oh, God. D does anyone else go through this when they're opening a locked door? No? No, no one else? Please, someone, anyone can hear. Please, help. Please, please, someone. Okay, so point and click. Please. We're in Oklahoma. No big surprise regarding tornadoes. Please, someone, anyone can hear. Please. Someone, help. anyone can hear. Please. The power, power line shocks you, you die. Power. Game over. Speech, thanks. Out. You have a paper cup in your hand. What if I use the sock to... You can't use an old sock on power lines. What do you mean? <laughs> mm. I just don't want to hear that voice again. Please, anyone. Can help. Can hear. Please. Oh, no. Oh, dear. No. Dear God, please. Why does the Discovery Channel have a fucking future jet? 
the oil dribbles between your fingers. Let's... You fill the cup with the oil. Alright, that's good. I figured something out. Can hear anyone. Remember, chat, if you were born in a time where these weren't the types of games you played on the computer, just think about it. Back in my day, we had to love games like this. Can't use the cup. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Well, thank you for that. Millibar must be repaired before hints are available. I can't even get the first hint. Oh, back in my day, we had it tough. We crawled into newspaper in middle of road. The bolts are stuck. You can't turn them with your hand. Can I? If I can turn these bolts with a sock, I'm going to quit video games. All right. I guess I don't have to quit video games. That's nice. Use oil on bolts. I literally just did that. Maybe I can use the wire to, like... No. Am I missing something? Literal. The electric tower next to the ship. Get more oil and use it on the doorknob? Grab the wood pole near the door. Can hear. The left pole is firmly in the ground. Try the other one. Well, obviously that was what I was supposed to do. I, <laughs> fucking obviously. That's a wooden pole. Can I use it to... I can't wedge the pole into the door. Okay. Yeah, this is just like, what am I thinking, the game? Must find a way to damage the systems. Malfunction. Please Be sure to click the right thing. What's the right thing? Who, who cares? Just keep looking. I, 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 I will sp sp spark. GLaDOS? In. Terminals in. in. Correct. Order. Ter terminals in correct order. Ow! 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 Can't use an old sock. Can use the wires. Gameplay. That's the same pattern. Oh wait, no it's not. No it's not. Different pattern. Uh, how much more of this is there? I just started the game. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. That Thank appears you. to be functioning much better now. I am Millibar, the Team Extreme Infobot, and I'm afraid we are in a great deal of danger. Millibar or GLaDOS, take your pick. I status on any of my scan traces, and my short-term memory banks have been glitched. Sorry. Allow me to access backup information from my database archival. This is unfortunate. 
My database functionality appears jammed. Unless some way can be found to unjam it, my usefulness is, is, severely limited. If you can find some way to help, I can retrieve the coordinates for Team Extreme Headquarters and explain further. Wait with me while things get ready. What was that? Whoa, did you hear anything weird? What the fuck? I am really starved. Could you feed me some of those funny looking things? <laughs> <laughs> oh, reminds me of my mom's cooking. Why you am yum. Definitely reminds me of something. I can't quite put my finger on it, but... Yeah, something. You suck. You can't use a, uh, an old sock on the stuck panel. Okay. Please, anyone, please, come here. Can help, can hear. Oh, there's gonna be an, oh, another thing. Oh, well, maybe now I can get a hint. Hints are only available when you are with Millibar. Finny, oil the panel. Why is every solution now to put oil on the panel? Put oil on body. Submerge oneself in oil. Thank the oil again. loosens- it got it worked! I'll now attempt to reinitialize my database functionality. Oh god! As an infobot for Team Extreme, my main function is the storage, retrieval, and synthesis of information. It is exciting and rewarding work, and it is what every young infobot dreams of. Team Extreme assignments are often very risky and require both knowledge and chutzpah. Chutzpah? They would program a robot to say chutzpah? My thesaurus banks seem to be scrambled also. Oh well. My global macro is to provide you with the information necessary to deal with any problem. You may access either my linear database functions or my context-sensitive help functions. Most of my database archives have been scrambled, but I've been able Okay, I guess that skips everything. Uh... Find word. Let's try flash floods. That's an educational game, kind of. Wow, oh, this is so funny and good and, and fun and nice. You think this is- you think this is bad? Wait until you see the sequel to this. No, really, I'm playing the sequel to this up after this. And I have no idea if it's worse or better. I'm assuming better. I'm assuming it's like a good game. Man, I kind of wish that this was a game where I could, like... Uh, what the fuck happened down here? I kind of wish that, um... This was a game where... I could, like, be, like, in the movie Twister. And I can throw those balls into a tornado. In 1939, it... Rye square definite text... Square, 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 square text... Text... Led up the creatures from the ponds and stream in the area. It was his fucking Moses. Sorry, Noah. <laughs> Noah, different biblical figure. The frogs fell back down to earth with the rain. Well, now I'm confused. Th that just sounds sounds like something Adrian Veidt would do. I have located Team Extreme headquarters, but I've encountered another problem. My atmospheric guidance system is burned out. Perhaps if you remove the atmospheric guidance chips from the Storm Runner craft, you can repair the system for me. I would be most appreciative. Of course. Atmospheric guidance chip. Chat, I think I might have made a terrible mistake by doing weather games. Did I show you all the American Dad Corruptions? I did. Just- just want to make sure, okay. Just in case, you know, people got bored. I figured it would be nice to have a little something as a backup. 
need to replace the um, atmospheric guidance chips. Okay. Use the stick. Ow! 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 ow. <laughs> Open up ship with wood pole. The logic makes no sense. So you're right. Of course you're right. I mean, okay, that one made a little bit more sense. Okay, got a tube. I got a wrench. I kind of want to see, like, the rest of the cutscenes. You, you know, like... Maybe, maybe there's a way to just see all the cutscenes and not have to play through this. Well, what am I doing here with this thing? Oh, I got the pro- PROPEN! It's called YouTube? Do you think this game is, like, popular enough to have an entire catalog of cutscenes? Probably, right? Alright, we'll take a look later. Fuel. Is that where the fuel goes? Up in the- <laughs> It goes up in the top like that, like R2-D2? It's not out of fuel. No, no, no. Do I have to use the sock to plug up the leak? Now the sock is not only old, but also disgusting. Yeah, but not for the reason you think. Each chip is coded for one atmospheric layer. If the chips are arranged in the correct order, my atmospheric guidance system will be operational again. I believe I was able to recover some atmospheric data from the archives if you need to access my database. Hey chat, do you want to learn about the thermosphere? <laughs> <laughs> did I- did I get it? You have some spare chips in your hand. No, no? You can look it up in Millibar. If you look up atmosphere in my database, it should indicate the- Okay, I was gonna use Google and then I realized that the game has it right here, so... Thermo Meso Strato Tropo. Thermo Meso Strato Tropo. Thermo Meso Strato Tropo. Thermo Meso Strato Tropo. It's correct. Chat, this is this is correct. Thermo Meso Strato Tropo. Oh, I I had to actually <laughs> Good. The system is online. Oh my. I am detecting an enormous number of tornadoes in the vicinity. We must leave as soon as possible. I will accompany you to Team Extreme Headquarters and serve as your guide. Team first, America? I need to calibrate my nav readings according to the current wind direction. This is becoming simply embarrassing. Particularly for an infobot. Particularly for this infobot. I am missing the most important piece necessary for determining wind direction. Can you locate a possible replacement in the vicinity? I don't need to look in chat and see that someone wants to fuck this robot. But that's exactly what happened. Oh, look. My nav readings are solid 5x5. Five five. Wow. We're ready to go. From now on, I will accompany you and aid you in any capacity I can. If you need to access my database what? or help functions, you need only to touch the appropriate So is that sock bar. a part of you now? What? You can fly? Let us examine the Storm Runner. Hopefully it'll be in better shape than I am. What the fuck kind of game is this? Like, I get it, they wanted to make a game about the weather. 
All right, we'll make a game specifically about the weather. How do we do that? A bot that flies. Team Extreme HQ. This could be good. This could mean cutscenes. I have interfaced with the autopiloting system. I recommend you fasten your seatbelt. This could be a bumpy ride. Give me the cash! I believe I know who is to blame for the destruction, as well as for Stratus disappearing. And that could be very bad news indeed. That that is a very nice hat. You, you like know? it? Oh, I'm glad I do not have a stomach. Our propane tank has expired, but we are very close to Team Extreme Headquarters. Strange, I am getting no response from Headquarters on any frequency. These are some crusty... Nimbo should be present. Cru crust scenes. It is extremely important that we gain entry to Headquarters as soon as possible. Hopefully we will find some clues as to what has happened to the weather, and to the rest of the team. That sounded like a lightsaber. No entry allowed. The security robot apparently does not recognize us without Stratus, and there's no telling where Nimbo is. We will have to find some way to disable that bot before we can enter headquarters. Yeah, it's called, let's go on YouTube and see if the cutscenes are available. Um, Operation Weather Disaster Cutscenes. Yeah? Oh my god. There's, there's a lot of them. There are a whole lot of cutscenes. Oh yeah, let me hit this with a stick real quick. You must disable the security bot. Okay. Hit security bot with stick. Yeah, this game is a two-hour playthrough. This is the site of the Team Extreme Remote Observation Station. Well, it will be when it's fixed up. Right now, we mainly use it for launching weather balloons. Nice view. It's like shitty mist. It's like fog. You are not authorized personnel. Entry denied. Just use the fucking hammer. I have a weapon. Okay, we need to see the rest of the cutscenes because I definitely don't need to continue playing this game. Swim trunks. <laughs> Swim trunks. Just just there. They're just there hanging out. Not weird at all. It's not weird. The, then the robot is your ship, but blue. That is, yep, that's what it appeared to be. Hang on a minute. I, I have some, um... I have something I can show you. First, let me show you the, um, the lose scenario. And then I'll show you a couple more of the cutscenes, because these are amazing. That was what won me over on this. Like, I didn't really see too much of it, but... Hello, world! Nice day for a forecast, don't you think? Well, here it is! I forecast beautiful F7 tornadoes. Gorgeous, torrid hurricanes. <laughs> Storms, crisp, white lightning, floods, hail, ice. Why, it makes me tingle just to think about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and so allow me to close by saying, welcome to the last day of the rest of your lives. Uh, I'm not really all that scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say can you see? Yeah, it's the Star Spangled Banner, yeah. He, the laughing sounds like um, angels with filthy souls in the Home Alone movie. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Alright, here's a little bit of what I found on YouTube. This could, this could be what we're looking for. Someone's watching this, it means something's happened to me and the rest of Team Extreme has been put out of commission. So. I think it has, um, yeah, it's two hours. I think there's a dude. I think there is a person.
Let's see. Wow. Someone uploaded a video of them playing this one day ago. Also 10 years ago, but that's different. Um, Just where do you think? Here we go. Here's one. Here's a good one out of context. You're going. Move it, Ivy. Oh, wait. No, this is the sequel. Whoa. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil anything. What it might be. Hmm. Ooh. Civilization is nothing compared to the glory and the beauty of the weather. Oh, it's true majesty to watch it unleashed. Let it rain down like, well, like, like rain, I suppose. Th this guy is I like, am going to unlock its true he's got to be a famous actor by now. Keys. He's putting the, the green I pages, I have everything. <laughs> I'm watching Death Sandals video, by the way. That's that's who the the person is. So if you want to watch a full playthrough, Death Death Sandals. I'm streaming a streamer. That was better what I had in mind. Safe so Nimble wouldn't use it on bubblegum. Now it's all up to you. And on that bombshell, fuck eco-friendliness. <laughs> I'm more than that. <laughs> I am not oh, this fucking guy again. Hang on a minute. Nobody, and I have been better. We need to be able to utilize the storm runner as soon as possible. I'm receiving reports Simple Jack. Anomalous, or abnormal weather in Britain that we should investigate. Abnormal weather in Britain, you don't cool. fucking say. Say, can I have that key thing in my I was feeling kind of hungry. I don't know what they're trying to do to this dude. People are saying it's Germa. No, my friend Germa is not this guy. Don't do that to my friend Germa. He's a nice guy. He doesn't. Okay, that's Germa. No. Yes. Yes. One it's of the not. That looks like no, it's bootleg guy. Germa. It's it's sure it's a great value it. America's Just choice Germa. Observation station. The play port and blow it up. Okay, I think I've had enough of this. Let's let's move on to the next one and see what that's like. But I do want to. Let's let's watch the end of the game. Spoilers. Oh, this is like recorded someone pointing a camera at the TV or the computer screen, which is even better. That message I received must have been a warning left by the ancients. If it is correct, the ancients the damage that the weatherman has caused by replacing the crystals at each location. Is this like cosmic horror? Oh, because they're going to Stonehenge. <laughs> oh, it's even better with no context. Oh, you can see like the hair and dust on this dude's screen. I can't believe this game turned into this. Atlantis? What the fuck? This is so educational. All right, there, Spider-Man. Excellent work. I'm receiving reports from all around the world that the abnormal weather has disappeared as suddenly as it appeared. The global weather systems have apparently been rebalanced and returned to normal. I am receiving the message from Sky. Someone in chat said, "Vinny, you should have just played this yourself. You spoiled it for yourself." This is even better. I wouldn't have spent two hours with this bullshit, but this makes it all worth it. You've done a good job. Looks like everything's back to normal. And on my way over, I left I love the it. weatherman someplace. He won't be getting into any more trouble. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> love our little buddy. You doing okay? I am not your little. Yes, I am doing fine. Thank you. Cool. Hey, you got anything to eat? <laughs> oh. Ha 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 this should have ended you like three times. Too much. I knew 
they do just fine. They're After good. all, they're <laughs> That was got to be a blooper they just left in. Fine. Was that like supposed to be a party, like a noisemaker? Okay, it was looking close there. You guys worry too much. I knew they'd do just fine. After Failure. All, to make you a full-fledged member of Team Extreme might be really tough. Yeah, cool. All right, you know what? I love that we can now fill in the blanks using our imagination. How did it go from there's an evil weathered gremlin wizard scientist man and then by the end of the game you have to restore the crystals to both Stonehenge and the Great Pyramid or just, you know, Giza and also Atlantis. So maybe maybe we can find out Talk to Transformer. Okay. Um, I was, uh, um, uh, uh, Jim, Jimothy was a weather lad until the talking ship came around. That was before he returned the crystals to Giza, Stonehenge, and Atlantis. All right, complete text. So here's official canon of what happened. The creature himself died in 1970, but a new body surfaced a year later at Boston University. It was handed over to the public by a professor. He says it is over 20 years old. Apparently the man saw the evidence that he had a very vivid and vivid memory. Reference, see yellow blotches over the top from Wikipedia. It is amazing to think that someone so young could so clearly see things. He read some poetry in oblivion. On the quiet island, he also visited my old grandmother, who's still passing all these time and from her, where memories come. Uh, what the fuck was that sentence? Through her daily life and other branches of the band, spilling whiskey into glass still, my grandma died shortly before she passed away. <laughs> the bottle of whiskey also left my family, but the spirit, as always, carried me back and was willing to let my blank. Just needed to prove that that was real. Okay. All right. Um, well, that was weather, and it was a little boring. But I will never forget the memorable cast of characters. Two years later, however, Discovery Channel decided they should make another weather game. Oh, it wasn't over. This is called Operation Eco Nightmare. Well, some people's spirit dies, their motivation, you know, and they have a, a, a very empty and hollow life before they actually pass away. I like that everyone in chat is just saying, like me, that's me, that's me. And then one asshole said that's you vin also i'm loading the game it's just taking a while okay several assholes never mind it wasn't just one asshole i mean you're not wrong you're not really wrong but you know no one's ever really gone discovery channel multimedia by human code. Oh shit, Billy Mitchell, Donkey Kong world record cheater. Holder, cheater. I'm not sure where it is anymore. It goes back and forth. I love that they tried to make this a franchise. Also, I guess the first game sold well enough So where do you go in the storyline after Muck? 
after um, discovering Atlantis. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I can't tell you how excited I am to be working here at MUCC. Let's look with each other, Jonah. The PR people hired you to generate good publicity. I had nothing to do with it. I don't want you in my division any more than you want to be here. Oh, well, I want to be here, sir. I mean, the press hasn't been very kind to me, but I'm a lot more sincere than they think I am. I'm not like I was. Is this the no, scientist man certain. from before, but without a beard? Up. But we don't clean up images here, and we clean up pollution. Oh, well, wow, those special effects are amazing. Nice green screen. I don't know what stunt you're trying to pull. But you working for MUCC won't convince anyone of anything. You should look for a job that's more suited to your background. I want more. I want people to believe in me. I, I want, want more, and I know I shouldn't. Say, look at that Jonah green the Jedi are holding me back! Today. Now, if that's not a good enough reason to want to get into the environmental cleanup business, but I don't know what is, sir. At least you're enthusiastic. Wow, what acting. Wow, well, what face? No. Oh god, no. We are looking no. at the second largest oil spill in this nation's history. The is that what that is? The is on the right. Yes, this is Kotzebue Sound. But what happened? Where's the oil? Ask MUCC Corporation. Oh, you get it, None Muck other than Oil. Mr. Green Street has made a startling innovation in oil cleanup technology. <laughs> well, it was simple, actually. I just started at MUCC when it occurred to me that instead of using fertilizer to get microbes to, to eat tar, maybe we could change the microbes themselves, breed them or, or change them to need less food. Huh? Once I had the idea, all I need was, was time in a genetics lab. So I mean, of course. Also, allegedly, in regards to Billy Mitchell. Allegedly. I felt like that was a necessary follow-up. Thank you. Oh, who could have Please do not sue. Criminal genius could be reformed into such incredible business savvy. <laughs> Here he is. Ladies and gentlemen, your new president, Jonah Greenstreet. <laughs> wow. Oh, good for him. <laughs> oh my god, I love, like, early PC game acting. CD-ROM acting is the best form of acting. Applaud yourselves. Applaud the company. Hail yourselves! You know, they call us the world's janitor. Well, as you know, I'm going to take this company far beyond custodial work. I think we all agree that it's time to stop cleaning up messes and start preventing them from happening in the first place. Yes. Sustainability. That is the word of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we must take from the earth only what we can put back. We must show industries how to reuse their waste the way nature reuses its waste. <laughs> we must restructure taxes and tariffs to promote innovation, conservation, and sustainable growth. Sustainability! We must take responsibility for life on this planet. We must... <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, stop with the face. Who edited this? Who put- Oh, God! Who edited this? Sorry, I just tried to spice it up a little bit because it was getting a little boring, so that, that was my attempt at that. Okay, and, and here we are in-game. It was me. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. 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 I double clicked. Which of the following items cannot be recycled? Sodi pop cans, nuclear byproducts. 
What is atomic pressure? Um, boundaries between layers of atmosphere. And what is the function of the ozone layer? It, um, protects life on Earth from ultraviolet rays. Man, do you remember when the ozone was a huge thing that everyone heard about? And then the aliens came and repaired it for us? Thank God for that. Somehow I was able to get all that right. Isn't that something? I wonder if the team is still here, the old... Excuse me, can I help you? Oh, it's the you. Old team I'm members. sorry, do you start today? It's like the X-Men. That's right, we'd schedule a meeting. I'm Ivy, director of Team Extreme's green team. I apologize, but the computers are down. Well, everything's down. It's like a tornado hit this place last night. Let's see. What Did it? do? Look, I, I wish I could show you around, but I gotta get the auxiliary power going. We lost the hydro generator, the solar panels, the windmill, the whole power grid, in fact. As you might imagine, we're pretty busy. Hey, why don't you see if you can lend a hand? Riptide, for instance, could use some help in the Aqua Bio Center. Rip down that <laughs> I'll come check on you this afternoon. Good luck. All right, so Riptide needs help, everybody. Uh, you know, there was a team member from two years ago. I, I loved him. He was great. Is he still on the team? Oh, hey, man. Take hey, a man. Look I'm Sunshine. It's good uh -huh. to meet you, finally. What's I up? was in Brazil when you interviewed. Well, that's so purified. To the biodiversity greenhouse. I'd show you around, but some of our endangered species have just become a little more endangered. Not groovy. Someone's been playing games with the green team's plumbing. The section's broken in half. If I can't dig up the broken joint and fix it in an hour, we're gonna start losing tropical plants. Oh, hey, why don't you take a look at the garden outside? I haven't had a chance to get out there. It's on the same irrigation system, so it could probably use some water. And if I fix the plumbing, maybe I'll show you what we're doing. We've had a fight to get some of these specimens. I mean, people are pretty cool about helping endangered animals, but it's hard to get them excited about plants. And sometimes plant. I think that if we could all just appreciate the simpler organisms, like trees and flowers, we might learn to take care of the natural world. Anyway, be in a bit. Hmm. I don't like sand. It's coarse, it's rough. It's annoying. It's like that, like, level acting. Actually, no, she was- she was pretty much better than almost any of the other people acting in this film. Look at this cool dude. He can't he hear you with all that loud music. <laughs> Computer, turn off that noise! <laughs> They're back! They got the power! Who's no. this radical dude? Lights work. Man, don't sneak up on people. That's the first thing I learned on the street. Don't goof around, because you never know what a marks Wait, who do. is this guy? He could have been a corporate terrorist or something. This guy looks we sure like got he's enough in here. something. Ivy calls me paranoid, but someone's trying to do a number on the green team. I know that much. Oh, look at my saltwater tank. It's all busted <laughs> up. Tank. And with the power so low, my refrigeration chamber's down. It's all I can do to save this oil clumping bacteria I was working on. Man. Like someone came in here and did just the right thing to keep me busy all day. And I'll tell you something else just between you and me, kid. It's a big company behind all this. There's lots of money out there set against environmentalists like you and me. Being in the green team's like being on the street, kid. You gotta watch your back. I hate to say it. That's why I always go anyway, for the silver monkeys. If I don't get going, I'm gonna lose 10 months of research. Hey, you wanna do me a favor? This tank's in bad shape, and if we don't do something soon, we're gonna lose some endangered fish. Now the frame's all cracked, so we gotta move the saltwater fish to the freshwater tank. Which means, of course, first treating the water in here. Of course. Why don't you get started by taking the freshwater fish out to the pond? Then worry about the rest. I got a bucket under the sink out front. Peace up, kid. That is an amazing voice. He reminds me a little bit of a, of a young Bill Paxton. Did he say peace up or peace out? Like peace out, kid. I don't think some of the old team is still here. Like the old guard kind of left the place. Egg. Hmm. 
Do you hear this music? I can't turn it up any louder, but it's like crust step. Like they took the crust filter in Fruity Loops all the way to 10. I like here there's, there's, there's a dude standing here, can't even interact with him. Like I want to talk to him and meet him, can't. Oh, they, they have a teleporter. Of course. Well, I mean, again, the crystals. They're going to capture Dr. Manhattan, everybody. Ah, Freeman. Good to see you. There's a volume slider to the right. gonna keep doing that until you get here yeah yeah Roll to school in the morning got myself out right gonna clean up the planet me and you no fights scoop the burbs Scoot the burbs. Scoot the burbs. Do I have to actually net the fish? Yeah, you bet I do. But then you easily put it back in. If you click the water again. So wait a minute, you have to like combo click them and not fuck up at all. Oh wait, no. Scoot the burbs! Scoot the burbs. Scoot the burbs. Burbs. Okay, I cannot... I cannot grab them. I still have the thing. So, I don't really know... Bucket. Wait, you saw a bucket? Is this a... This is... Water conditioner. Good that. Finny, get bucket. Where did you see the bucket? Bucket is outside? Like, all the way outside? That is a sink. That is a fern. Oh, they have like a whole fucking... Look at all this shit. They have the satellite dish powering the, the Death Star. They have... Wind power. They've got hobbit holes. Giant Hoover Dam. Vinny Ultra Blind. What am I Ultra Blinding? Vinny Under the Sink? Oh, <laughs> it was good. I didn't see it. It was hidden nicely. Not all of these puzzles are bad. Some of the puzzles I just happen to be bad at. The bucket is empty. Shouldn't you do something first? Let's go with the burbs. You can't use a bucket on a freshwater tank. You can't use a bucket on a saltwater tank. I thought maybe I could fill the bucket with some water from there, but... Tap water, okay. Do I have to treat it? Removes the chlorine from the water. And then I add some saltine... <laughs> some saline. It's 
conditioned water. I will spend another five to ten minutes on this game before I, I go and look up the cutscenes. That is a bucket of fish. No, it is a bucket of one... No, that is correct, yes. The, pl the singular of fish is also fish. I got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Now what? The water is now appropriate for salt water fish. It's a shame you can't just like click them all at the same time just by pressing it once. This isn't... Well, I guess this is the game portion. Clicking a fast moving object is the foundation of games if you think about it. What is every first person shooter? Okay, so now what do I do with the bucket of fish? This, um... The saltwater fish should stay close to home. I bring them outside. Oh, they can... So we're setting them free. I wasn't paying attention to the dude, bro. I was just... You know, I was... Zoning out. Put him in the... Yeet them off the cliff. Oh, I did it. I freed them. And now I have pond water. So this is what a game about weather would look like. I can't help but say I'm a little disappointed in the two weather games tonight. Because the cutscenes are amazing, the characters are amazing, the acting is wonderful. I kind of wanted, like, Action. Do you remember that moment in the beginning of the first game where the dude shot a missile into the tornado and he defeated it? Wouldn't it be great if I could ride around in a fucking Jeep? Good work. Shoot With your help, I think we might be able weather. to save both the fish and the bacteria if I can get this temporary refrigeration system going. Hey, maybe you can do something about the hydro generator in the meantime. Ivy says it's toast like everything else around here. Power's so low, she can't even use the antenna, <laughs> which means we're totally cut off from the rest of the world. Totally. Like I said, something's going down. Something big. The quicker <laughs> you fix the hydro generator, the better. Oh, you'll find the control we're panel inside the dam out that. front. Let me give you a pair of work gloves. Oh, if you isolate you that, that's that perfect. Stuff anymore. Just, just isolate that one thing, and then you can use it as a reaction video. Pair of gloves. I was like, why do I have someone's hands? Operation Eco Nightmare Cutscenes Halo Wars 2 Awakening the Nightmare All Cutscenes Hey chat, the good news is I found them. I found all of them.
We can watch a couple. We don't have to watch all of them, but I'm definitely going to skip to the ending again because that was the best part of the previous game, just trying to figure out what the fuck happened leading up to the ending. It, again, it went from like zero to a hundred. Two forty P is all I can do. In minutes. In the meantime, let's see if there is any news on the oil spill. My satellite feed is picking up something. <laughs> Luckily, the spill was contained thanks to the speedy reaction of MUCC Corporation. But where's the green team? Was this spill too small green to tea? make the green team disaster list? We might have thought so an hour ago. But how about this mess in Brazil? If anything would get the green team's attention, it would be this unidentified contraption, which is cutting gashes through the rainforest oh God. even the local farmers agree should be left alone. Is that a real the device? The green team's supposed to stop this kind of destruction, but where are they? This is something Ivy should know about. Hold on while I send a transmission. Yeah, it's a kill dozer. It's a Thanks, fucking guys. zombie slaying we device. We intercepted a distress call from Brazil just as you were leaving. Ozone's Where Brazil? The What's the latest, Ozone? I think I'm approaching a spot. This is terrible. Looks like a golf course. Hold on, I'm going down to take a closer look. Gaia, keep a comm link open to uh. Ozone's eco skimmer. If something happens, we may need you to move in fast. Comm link established. Well, these are the coordinates provided by Mr. Greenstreet. Only I do not see the MUCC cleanup team, nor do I see any sign of an oil spill. We've been sent to the wrong place. And this is strange. My sensors tell me that the craft approaching from the north is a green team eco skimmer, which of course is impossible. We are the only operatives in the area. <laughs> <laughs> we do not have time to follow the other eco skimmer. What the fuck? Also, Mono has informed me that there is a game about chasing weather. I'm not going to do it tonight, but I'll, I'll look into it for the future. It's like a new game where you can follow around tornadoes and, and I don't know. I don't know if it's worth 12 bucks, but I'll find out. Have you lost your mind? What on earth's going on out there? We have very strange news to report. Explain to me what this news story is all about. Let's look at that security camera photo again. Notice the 45 degree tilt of the tail fins. This is definitely a green team eco skimmer. Apparently, oh, one shit. of the operatives has gone on some kind of rampage. Viewers are cautioned to stay indoors and to report any eco skimmer sightings to WACH TV immediately. I can't this believe how deep the story is getting. Very dangerous. The reporter has made an error of association. The craft in the news story does not belong to the green team. I believe you, Gaia. But the clip looks convincing. From back here, it looks like the green team just hired a terrorist. The United Nations has surrounded our facility and begun <laughs> UN. interrogating the operatives. They especially want to talk to you and our new recruit. You must come back to headquarters at once. Green team, is anyone out there? It's a trap. They tamed me the control the and I can't get loose. Green team, can you hear me? The trees are dying and I can't do a thing. I'm being set up. Help me, somebody! Yeah, Ozone, this this is Metal Gear Solid right? Ozone, are you there? six. If it was allowed to happen. My calculations indicate that we are less than a thousand miles from the coast of Brazil. We could reach the rainforest in forty-five you minutes. You know I can't give that order, Gaia. I've ordered you back to base as the United States. You know Nations I can't give that order, Snake. I can do nothing else. It is kind of Metal Gearish. So, the eco-terrorist returns. You'd better have some good answers. <laughs> Blowing things up might look neat on TV, but this isn't TV, kiddo. And this isn't a video game either. Uh, well... In this world, we it, have rules. It ki kinda is a video game. Oh! Gotcha. <laughs> My boss was right. He said, Sludge, hide by the front door. That green team frat's gonna break into the lab and hear you. Why does why do these games have a character like this? 
baseball. <laughs> he sure is smart. Someday I'm gonna think like him and I'll be an executive too. I'm already his right hand man, he says. That's why he gave me this camera. I'm helping him cover a story. Yeah, buddy. Like my boss says, this God. ecology thing's a big news story. Ernest goes so to Antarctica. Be the bad guy. Why not you? <laughs> See you on TV, kid. <laughs> Some of the music sounds like Advance Wars, like tracks. Like while you're playing as Andy, you might hear it in the background. Hang on a second. Uh, what do you think, chat? Should I skip ahead or do you want to watch? I think um, I'm going to skip a little bit. And then we'll do two more cutscenes because this is fascinating. This is like skipping ahead three or four cutscenes. Excellent. We definitely have enough evidence to incriminate Mr. Greenstreet. And according to this satellite news broadcast, we are not alone. What, like in the universe? Did he lie? Will this cold cause acid rain? Heck, wait till you see all the memos he sent me. I was his right-hand man. <laughs> My name is Artie, strongest man in the world. Psychopath. You can't poison the planet. I think I saw Beetlejuice by scrubbing the timeline chat. To put it back together. I think that's Beetlejuice down there. Hello, world. You can stop gossiping about Jonah Greenstreet. It's too late. It's this asshole again. While the green team was out. I've been here at the green team headquarters doing some ecological experiments of my own. I take a look outside. Notice any changes? <laughs> you will. The green team's silly green team. Here we are now! Technology, Entertain us! technology true to the human spirit. You see, we were put here on this green earth. Crust to Cobain. To, <laughs> to make nature bend to our very will. Well, I've learned to bend nature in ways you can't even imagine. <laughs> Thanks to me, we now have the power humanity has coveted since the dawn of... It's like Rob Zombie and Kurt Cobain's to see the future, fucking kids. dirty love child. Prepare to watch me seize the world and remake it in my own very image. Prepare for smog. Prepare for trash and waste and oceans of poison. Prepare for final victory over nature. I can give it to you. I am the garbage man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we found the Sunday stream intro, everybody. <laughs> Prepare for trash! Waste! <laughs> yeah! Garbage man! I'm the garbage! I can give it to you! I am the garbage man! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> satellites we had better get back to green team headquarters to find out what he is ranting and raving about no one knows just where do you think you're going move it ivy i'm going to destroy the world here's the I final cutscene. way go for it garbage bag no one can stop me no one you are not some super villain, suit. Jonah. you're just a nutty little man try and catch me money g makes his move come on g man bust a move get away from that he's Stay the g man back, g man that's what it stands for, Garbage Man! The fuck? Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. If anyone's hurt, it's Jonah. Don't worry about me! Nothing can stop me. <laughs> How embarrassing. Is everything under control? How down embarrassing! We've been subdued. We're waiting for the authorities. Excellent. On behalf of MUCC Corporation, please accept our sincere gratitude. Well, thank our new operative. The world owes everything to this person's fast thinking. Good work, my friend. I apologize. <laughs> that's for that's us, chat. We are my friend. <laughs> you were a step ahead of the game all along. Listen, if you're ever in the job market, give me a call. This is just bad MUCC Captain Planet. Could use someone like you in management. Well, you would certainly do a better job than Mr. Greenstreet. I cannot believe we hired that demented man. Wait, so he no just got like MUCC, trapped in garbage and slime? Seen through him that first day. Anyway, 
Keep up the good work, Green Team. The world is safe again, thanks to you. What about me? Doesn't anyone care about me? All right, everyone. Mm, Let's nope. get back to work. We have a lot to do to get this place cleaned up. <laughs> so you think this is over? You think you can just walk away? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to be ignored. I'll destroy the whole universe next time if I have to. I am a criminal genius. <laughs> genius, I tell you. Let me go. That's oh him, my God. I think. I'll handle the situation from here. Oh, Zone. I'd have I wonder if they made any other games. Annoying little antivirus program. As soon as I get out of here, I'm going to... Just two. <laughs> Just two. Yeah, I'll be in the hangar if you need me. <laughs> I'm gonna get all of you. You think you could lock me away and stop pollution? That chance! Oh, You'll ruin nature anyway. That is Just fucking gross! Smog and you make more every day. You love trash! You love trash and you love me. <laughs> you wanna be just like me? Well, let me go! I'm your leader! I'm the future. And you're just afraid to admit it. <laughs> Vinny, he ate 40 pizzas in 30 days. Tin can, this is plastic bottle. The garbage has been taken out. Repeat, the garbage has been taken out. Wow, it ends on a joke. On a pun. God. Hang on, there is one more thing. This is also, weirdly enough, a part of the game, I think. Cloud con psychic cloud control video by T. Chase. See this cloud? I make videos where I'm able to control clouds by my psychokinesis, psychic power. I'm making this in, uh, recording this September 2010. See this cloud? I'm going to try to turn this cloud into a square-shaped cloud. Wow, this... Make this cloud into a square-shaped cloud. This game series really took a weird turn. By psychic power, turn it into a square-shaped cloud. Cloud, become a square shape. 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 Cloud, cloud. Become a square shape. Turn into a square shape. Do you want a spoiler? Or a square. Here's a spoiler. Square shape. Clued. Become a square shape. Clued. Clued. Become a square shape. Just heavy breathing. That that dude is still making videos, by the way. Ten years later, he's still doing that to clouds. I'm gonna make that cloud clued into a V-shaped clued. It's close enough to magic. You don't see a lot of real magic these days. What we what we don't know is he releases like one video every three months, maybe, but he films about 400 attempts. One out of 400 ain't bad. I'm making that up, by the way. That's an imaginary statistic. Anyway, that's weather games. Maybe one day I'll play another weather game um, if I'm not asleep by the time the game starts. But uh, some good acting. I enjoyed... There was a lot of quotable lines. There is one more weather game that's good, apparently, that came out this year, like I said earlier. So maybe that, but probably not. 